Hi, I'm Doug from SubTV and this is the first video in a series showcasing Apple's iLife 09 package. I'll show you today how to create this navigation bar. So let's select iWeb, go to File, New Site and we'll choose Blank Page so we can start with a fresh canvas. Um, it consists mainly of three shapes. So if we go down to this shapes button just here and we can select a kind of a rounded corner like an oblong shape um, and we can use these little arrows to get the main shape of that key created. Right, if this is highlighted this particular shape it means we can adjust its properties in the inspector by pressing the graphic button You'll see here we have an option called Fill, Color Fill. Well, we want a gradient color fill. We can choose the top color and the bottom color. In this case, they're pretty much set as we need them. I'm going to make the top color completely white and the bottom color is completely black. Um, also, on the subtvstudenthouse.co.uk website, we've got a drop shadow. So, that drop shadow is quite a dark grey colour and it's offset at about 3 or 4 pixels let's leave it at 3, uh, blur on 0, opacity 100% which means it's not opaque at all so that's looking pretty similar um, and then the end of the key is another shape but this time instead of being filled with a colour fill we select that shape and we're going to fill it with an image fill uh, this particular image is already selected otherwise you can choose any image and it's got a hole where you would attach the key to a key ring I suppose so let's create that hole again go down to the shape select a circle and it's uh, black so make sure the circle is highlighted color fill I'm going to choose black from my color menu over there. Now if we want to bring this particular shape in front of this particular shape, which we do, you can see here it just overlaps, we highlight that shape and you can move the layer forward or backward using this menu down here. Okay so now we've created the basics of our navigation bar we're going to add the text for the different pages. We're currently working on the welcome page uh, which is you can see from the left hand menu so if we select a text box by pressing the text box button down there uh, in caps I'm going to type welcome I'm going to press command A and then, then command T to bring up the font window the font which I use for the navigation menu is uh, Arial Black um, so I'm going to just pull the text up to here and reduce the size of the text box so now we can see that the text is in white on the website here we're recreating it's in black so let's select the text go to the inspector window and press the text inspector now you see here it says color and alignment if we select the color box it opens up our color window and I'm going to choose black and that changes the text to black. Now while the text is highlighted I can press command and minus to reduce the size of the text. Well, that's pretty good. And I'm just going to reduce the size of the text box a little. Now on the website it also has a, a drop shadow which is a nice effect to use just to bring out the, um, the text itself. So again I select the text and I go to the graphic in the, the graphic button in the inspector and I'm going to tick the shadow and I'm going to change the color of the shadow to white. I'm going to reduce the offset so it's very subtle. Leave it on number one. I'm going to go back to the text button I'm just going to change the character spacing a tiny bit 
up to about 5%. So you really do have full control over all the different elements of the text. I'm just going to highlight the text box but not the text and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to position it where I want. That's perfect. Now I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to highlight the text box, press the option key and I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to use the blue grid lines just to make sure that it's all aligned. And last of all we want to just put this detail in at the end of the key or I say the key, it's the title bar but you want to make it look like a key so I'm just going to put this shape, this square box here and I'm going to go up to the arrange menu and I'm going to click send to back so now it's right at the back I'm also going to make that shape a gradient fill by selecting the graphic button in the inspector gradient fill and again iWeb has remembered my settings and that's fine to go from that grey to that black uh, and then to finish the detail off I get one more box and I drag it into place there and then I'm going to change the colour of that box to black And then I'm going to hold down the option key and drag it over. So now that I've created the navigation menu, uh, I'm going to duplicate this particular page four times. I've already done it three times. Now you can do that by holding down the control key and clicking on the page you want to duplicate and then just select duplicate from the menu. So we've duplicated the welcome page three times. So we now have a four page website. I'm going to rename these pages so they are the same as the pages in the navigation bar. And you can see that it updates itself here in the page name of the inspector um, menu. Right, we'll go back to page one. They all look the same, so there's no difference initially. But if we... Um, we now want to put our links in to link all the pages together. Now I'm going to do that by selecting the text box but actually selecting the text inside the text box and go into the link page of the inspector. I'm then going to enable the text as a hyperlink. Now I have some choices here. I can link to an external page which would be another page on the internet or one of my own pages that I've created which we have just done. So I'm going to select one of my pages and then from the drop down menu I'm going to choose that page which I've just created now I've got lots of other websites with many other pages so this particular website is at the bottom here and I choose the tour I'm going to, I'm going to do the same actually for the welcome page even though we're on page one I normally do this because we're going to copy and paste the menu across the other pages so we don't have to put these links back in because um, the links get copy, copied and pasted as well so let's put the welcome page linking back to itself now the text is white which is a bit frustrating so let's go to the format button inside the inspector uh, on the link tab and where it says normal now this is the state of the text obviously in its normal state we want that to be black we don't really want it to be underlined so let's untick underlined now it's got this rollover effect which is making it go grey when we roll over it's uh, it's not bad but it's a bit harsh so let's change that grey to something a bit more subtle I think that's pretty good and we'll take off the underline again so that's that's pretty good I think if we take the underline off the visited ones and, and actually leave a, a visited link black that way we can achieve a, a kind of a rollover effect uh, which remains the same throughout now once we've set up the properties for our links and rollovers instead of doing it for every single link we can just click use for new links on page 